Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to set up a preventive maintenance template in Fleet Maintenance Pro 15. So to start, we're going to click on Setup in the top menu, and then we're going to click on PM Schedule Templates. So on this screen here, we're going to have a list of our currently set up templates on the left. And as I click each one, you can see on the right hand side, I have a list of tasks that go with my preventive maintenance schedule. So to make a new schedule, I'm going to click on the new button on the bottom left. Here I can give my schedule a name. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this new PM schedule template. And then you'll see check boxes underneath, um, track by date, you have two meter options, and track by fuel usage. So basically, anything that's checked here is what the tasks are allowed to track by. So as you can see in the background here, I've got a few tasks from my other uh, maintenance template. So right now the frequency on these is set to so many miles. So if you want to track these tasks by miles, you'll make sure that this track by meter is set, and then you'll have it set to mileage. Um, if you have some tasks that'll be miles and some that will be date, you'll want to have both of these checked as well. If you're going to be tracking by hours, you can have your third meter here set to hours. But we're going to go ahead and keep this simple. So I'm just going to have it set to date and mileage. So I'll go ahead and hit save. So on the left hand side, it's made my brand new template. And on the right, I have a blank slate where I can add tasks or services that I want to track. So on the bottom, I'm going to click the other new button. And this is my add PM service window. So here I can add a type of service. So let's go ahead and say air filter, for example. Type. These are in your choice list. They don't really have a bearing on anything. This is more for you to be able to categorize. Um, so I'm just going to set normal as the default. Um, same with priority. Most things you'll set to normal. Again, that's up to you. So you can kind of see, hey, something is high priority. Um, enabled, yes, I want to have this task turned on. Uh, master, this is if I want this task to be a subtask. We'll probably go over that over another video. Um, but for now, you can go ahead and ignore this box. So we've got our frequency tab. So you'll see my two check boxes that I had originally tracked by date and mileage. I don't have to have both of these checked. Uh, right now for air filter, it makes sense. I want to track it by mileage if it's going to be a vehicle. And then I can put any mileage I want in here. So let's say 3,000 to start. I've got a notify box. So I can say, uh, let's say I want 500 miles in advance right before it's due. I want it to give me a notification and say, hey, this task is coming up. Um, do at, that's if you want to set a specific date. Or I'm sorry, and for this it's meter. So if I want to set, let's say, instead of every 3,000 miles, um, I want to set on 7,000, 15,000, 30,000. As the equipment gets to that meter reading, that's when these basically points that this task becomes due. That's rarely used. You probably won't need that. Most of the time you'll use this do every because it's something that's recurring at a specific interval. So we'll leave it at 3,000, notify 500 miles in advance. Now we're going to go over the advanced tab. And here, uh, I'll go over these line items. So we've got estimated labor time. So whenever I add this task to a work order, there's a column that says this is how long that task is going to take to complete. Uh, default is zero, but you can set that if you'd like. Uh, include PM service with email notifications. That's already checked for me. Um, that means that when this task is coming up soon due or it's about to be overdue, I'll get an email notification about it letting me know. Uh, linked PM service, that's if I want to link it to uh, another service so that it can be done at the same time. So let's say I want my oil changes and with air filters. Uh, we'll probably go over that in another video as well. Um, PM service termination, that's if I want to set a cutoff date or a cutoff beater, where after that point's been reached, um, the system no longer wants to keep track of that task anymore. And then seasonal tracking, um, you can have the system ignore any notifications about this task being due or overdue um, at a certain time frame. My equipment tab right now it's empty because I haven't, you know, this is a brand new service. I haven't attached it to any vehicles yet or any equipment. Um, as you attach it to equipment, they will show up in this list.
On the bottom, we've got our two save buttons as in other parts of the software. So if I click on the first one, that'll save just this one service. If I wanna keep this window up and just keep adding more and more tasks, I can click the save plus and it'll keep this window up here so I don't have to hit the new button over and over again. So it looks like I've got it set up how I want. So I'll go ahead and click on save. So now you can see I've got my service here on the right. It's got my name, it's turned on, it's got the type, and it's got my interval and my advanced notifications. So we're pretty much good to go. So now what we want to do is add this PM schedule template to a piece of equipment. So I'll go ahead and hit the X on the top right. And in my equipment list, I have a new unit that I added at the top. So I'm going to right click on it and choose edit. You can also double click the line. That'll bring you to the edit screen. On the top right, I have a PM schedule template. Right now it sets a no schedule. It's not assigned to anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit select. And I'm going to choose my new PM schedule template and assign it to my equipment. So now it's lit up there. Uh, right beneath, I have a meter configuration and it is grayed out now. So if I wanted to change the secondary, uh, it won't let me. And right beneath it says it's being determined by the schedule template. So what that means, so right now I have it set to mileage and no meter. If I wanted to track this equipment by hours as well, I would have to go back to my schedule template. I would have to edit it on the left hand side and I would have to add hours here as a secondary meter. So basically whatever's set up on the screen, the equipment is going to inherit these settings. So if I save this and I go back into my unit, you'll see that ours is here. So those two things are linked together. Um, now let's say I have my task, my air filter task. If I hit save, right now it thinks that it was done basically today at whatever the meter currently is. So let's say um, I just added this to the system, but the air filter was really done you know, let's say 4,000 miles ago. So if I right click on my unit, I can go to last PM setup. And here I can tell the system the last time it was done. So I'm gonna say it was done back in June. And I'm gonna go backwards on the mileage. Let's say it was done at 30,000 miles. There's no save button here. However, hitting the X on the top right will automatically save these values. So now it shows that that service is overdue 1,500 miles ago. Um, so let's go ahead and go through completing the service so we can see how it tracks with the meter. So I'm going to go ahead and issue a work order for due and soon due tasks. Air filter is already in here. I'll go ahead and set it complete. Let's say it was done at 35,000. And then we'll save it. So now you can see that it's reset, so it's no longer overdue. Um, now I wanna update my meter. So to do so, I wanna progress it from 35,000 and move it up. So I'm gonna have this unit highlighted. I'm gonna click on meters on the top right. And then I'm gonna say the meter is now 36,000. And you'll see that due status moved up because it knows, hey, every 3,000 miles, I need to get this air filter done. So every every time I increment this meter, that due status is going to change. So let's say I'm getting closer, so let's up it by another 700. So we're almost at 3000, but not quite there yet. So remember I set that notification that says, I have it due every 3000, but remind me 500 miles before. So we're right about there. And it tells you, hey, it's due in 300 miles. You should probably consider getting this task done. And then if I go over, hit save, now it's overdue by 100 miles. So this is one of the core parts of our software, basically, to be able to track these services so that way nothing falls through the cracks, right? We want to make sure that everything gets done. Well, that pretty much wraps it up as far as our PM schedule templates. Uh, if you have any other questions or need more info, go ahead and visit our website at www.mtcpro.com.